Hello. Last weekend, many churches across the country used the same Bible reading as their focus for reflection, and I thought that today we would do the same. It's the story of Jesus' first miracle, and this is how John tells it in his Gospel. There was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his followers were also invited to the wedding. When all the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They've no more wine. Jesus answered, Why come to me? My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. In that place, there were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Each jar held about 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled the jars to the top. And then he said to them, now take some out and give it to the master of the feast. So the servants took the water to the master. When he tasted it, the water had become wine. He did not know where the wine came from, but the servants who brought the water knew. The master of the wedding called the bridegroom and said to him, People always serve the best wine first. Later, after the guests have been drinking a lot, they serve the cheaper wine. But you have saved the best wine till now. So in Cana, in Galilee, Jesus did his first miracle. There he showed his glory and his followers believed in him. Now, I think this miracle has a lot to say to us about Jesus and consequently about God. Firstly, the whole village would have been at this wedding since they were big community occasions. Because of this fact, to run out of wine would have been a matter of great social disgrace. It would have had a negative impact on this newly married couple and their lives in that community. Now Jesus is bothered about this and he is bothered enough to want to help. I think that God is similarly bothered by the things in our lives that are significant to us. He cares, and he cares enough to intervene, to get involved in the everyday stuff, just like Jesus did. Secondly, did you notice the amount of wine that Jesus produced? He made over 700 litres, or approximately three wheelie bins full of wine. For me, this says something about the generosity of God. It says something about his abundance, how much he loves us, how much he cares, and his extravagance. Thirdly, not only does Jesus bless this wedding with a huge quantity of wine, but he gives them an amazing quality of wine. It was clearly a great vintage. The master of the feast passes comment that rather than bringing out the cheap plonk later in the celebration when everyone is drunk, this wedding now brings out the best wine. For me, this says that God wants the best for us. And when he intervenes in our lives, our world and our relationships, he does so in a manner that is intended to be the very best for us, ultimately. Finally, this first miracle of Jesus gives me cause for hope. In this account, Jesus takes something very ordinary and turns it into something extraordinary. He takes ordinary, everyday water and he transforms it into delicious wine. That, I think, is very good news because he can take me as ordinary and unremarkable as I am and do something extraordinary with my life. My prayer is that he might do the same for each of you. Bless you all.